Hey cooking friends, welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red and I'm Sheila. I'm Jennifer and we love those stovetop recipes that you can throw together in a yes, skillet. Yes, we do. And this is no exception. I love making this recipe. Yes, she does. But every time she does it, I come over and eat it. <laughs> she does. So you guys are going to love this. It's super tender and we love to make these beef tips and noodles. We do. We do. Or beef tips and pasta, whatever you want to call it. It's delicious. And so we're going to take you back right now and show you how it's done. We're starting the skillet off with medium heat. And we got a tablespoon of olive oil. Mm, about a tablespoon in it. And butter. About a tablespoon of butter. We'll get that melting in here. And we're going to add one medium diced onion. And not just any old onion. No. Sweet. It's got to be sweet. <laughs> it's got to be sweet. Got to be sweet. <laughs> got to be. I like the sweet onion. And it looks like I'm going to need a little bit more butter, so take your time. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do something with that butter. Do something with that butter. <laughs> Melt that butter in there. About another tablespoon? Yeah. Just a tad. Just a pat. And then adding the mushrooms, fresh mushrooms. And some of these are a little bit big, so you know you can About kind a cup of full. you can cut them in half because they're going to reduce down in size. And then one teaspoon of minced garlic. Got to have the garlic too. Oh yeah. And we're just going to let this cook for about a minute till it becomes fragrant. Don't want to overcook that garlic, and you definitely don't want to burn garlic. So. But it sure adds a lot of flavor, doesn't it? It sure does. We use that about everything we got. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is get ourselves a plate. And we're going to set this aside because I don't want these to cook anymore. So just put it on a plate. If I could reach that plate, you wouldn't have anything to put on the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> you can make a meal out of just that, I huh? No, I could eat that. <laughs> and then we're going to put that skillet back down. And... Add a little bit more olive oil. We love our olive oil too. About another tablespoon. And then our beef tips or stew meat, whatever you got. Now we cut these down so they're more, you know, bite sized. So then we've got some seasoning. One teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of pepper. And we're just going to sprinkle that all over the meat. And I'll probably reserve a little bit of that for the end. And a W sauce. Some Worcestershire sauce. One tablespoon of that. You can shake it out. But yeah, about a tablespoon. Give or take. Yeah, give or take. So we want this to sear up on that side. So while that's doing that, we got our water over here boiling. Yeah, we're going to add about 8 ounces of egg noodles. It comes in like 16. Yeah, it's a 16 ounce package, but we're only going to use about half of it. So To 1 pound meat. Yeah, so if you want to double this recipe, you could you know, just double the recipe and do 2 pounds of meat and do the whole bag. But this is actually a perfect amount, so 8 ounces of these noodles will do it. Because, you know, when they cook up, it expands and makes quite a bit of noodle. So we added some salt in the water, and we're just going to get those boiling. While the meat is browning. And we just want to get this seared up on each side. Get that pink off. What does Steve used to say about meat? He said that <laughs> he liked the way that uh, if a good vet can get it back on its feet. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, yeah, because he always hated his stuff rare. <laughs> no, yeah. He wants to cook so Vic can get it back on its feet if he needed to. <laughs> no, I thought that was so funny. Oh, my gosh. All right, we've got some water here, about two-thirds cup of water, and... One packet of Lipton Beefy Onion Soup Mix. And one packet of Brown Gravy. And we're going to just 
pour that into this water and whisk it up. It's going to add a lot of flavor in there. Yes, it is. So now that that meat's seared up, we're going to whisk it and pour it right over the top of that meat. Get all the onion pieces out of there. And then we are going to get our can of cream of mushroom soup. Yes. Add that in. Now this is going to get thick, so we're probably going to need to add a little bit more water. Get it all out of there. Yeah, you can see as we mix this together with all of that, and that gravy is going to help thicken this up too, so you're definitely going to have to keep an eye on it and add water, so we'll add a little bit more water in here. About a half a cup of water. If it gets too thick, you may need to add a little bit more water as it cooks. Yeah, we're going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes, but you'll want to check it and stir it up a little bit, and you might need to add a little bit more water. It just depends, because it will thicken up on you. Just until you get it to the consistency you want. So we're going to cover this and let it simmer on low for 30 minutes. And it looks like the noodles have expanded. They have expanded and they are ready to go. So yeah, we are going ready. to drain these. And you can tell they're done just by looking at the inside. You break them open and there's no more white on the inside. They're ready to go. So we're going to drain them and set them aside. Put a little olive oil so they don't stick together. <laughs> this is a recipe. Just don't go outside and wash the car and forget about it. No, you don't want to forget about it. <laughs> it's cooking on the stove. <laughs> so it. look at that. <laughs> This is definitely not one you want to forget about. Uh uh. Because it's cooking. And that's something I would do sometimes too. <laughs> look at that. Yum. So now. Smell that. Oh, look at that. Now that Smells that's good. ready and it's been there for 30 minutes, we're going to add back in all the goodies mushrooms and onions and all that back into here. Mix it together. Look at that. It smells so good. Mm. Just wait till you get the seasoning back in it. I know. And then we're going to take our pot of noodles. And fill the pan up. And we're just going to mix that gently in to all of that yummy gravy, beef tip mixture, mm. yum. Look at that. We're going to have to get a bigger skillet, girl. I know. It barely <laughs> fit in here. We're going to need a bigger skillet. <laughs> if we made any more noodles, we would. That's what I said about just the half that package fills this perfectly. How many times, uh, everybody, you know, anybody out there, how many times have you had to change skillets? Oh, that, that's happened a lot. I mean, sometimes you get to go, uh oh, need a bigger skillet. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got Here. the remaining seasoning. Seasoning there, yeah. Going to spring, sprinkle that back in. Look at that. Mm. I'm hungry, and this is just, this smells so good, guys. Look at that. That's like comfort right there. That looks like my dish. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, got to get that mushroom on top then. Yeah, get it up there. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, look, mm. look at that. Awesome. Yum. I'm ready to eat. How about you? I am ready. Let's do it. Mmm, mm, smell a vision. Oh Ooh, my gosh. This is good. Look at this. this? I know. This? Check it out. Let's check this out. Oh. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Try some of this. Oh. Oh, I'm ready. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That was so this good. This has got great flavor. Really good flavor. This is. One of those mm. dishes that you're just like, oh yeah, comfort, Mushrooms. comfort food. This is it right here. Mm -hmm. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. mm. As Steve would say, is this the best beef tips and noodle that you've ever had? If it, it ain't, ain't, it, it ought to be. be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Bye. Oh, mom, you gotta try this. Dish me up some. Oh, yes, yeah, oh. so good, right? Uh. Mmm. Mm. And we have got a great recipe. Now this is a, this is a, this is a, <laughs> this is, 
one of those. <laughs> I love those kind. I love those kind too. Those are good recipes right there. I love it. <laughs> Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, and then you're subscribed. Next to it, it'll be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.